What's going on, guys? We are back tonight with another fun deck for you. I'm just going to take it back old school, man. One of my very first decks I did that I just thought was so fun to play. And obviously, I've tweaked it a little bit and changed it up. A couple new cards dropped and whatnot. So uh, let's go check this thing out. And you guys know it's it's got to be some control -y deck, right? It's just, just what I love. So real quick, this is a, a lock and burn deck. We're going to lock it down and burn it up. And it's just a fun deck. You know, it might not be the best. I'm just going to preface that now. But I have beaten some pretty crazy decks. And it's it's a lot of luck, right? Because the locking mechanics, it's a lot of luck. It, I mean, if it, if it locks a lot of his cards up and it's not locking cards that are already locked, you know, and luck's on your side, this thing can really be nasty. But, you know, it really depends. So you're going to have some games that you just steamroll people and it just seems like the locking RNG is just going your way. And then there's going to be some games where it's like, man, this deck feels so bad. But you never know what you're going to get sometimes. Uh, real quick, I do want to show, because I've been trying to remember to show you guys deck codes. So deck code U-V-U-K-B-X. So... That's the code. If you guys want to check that out, go for it. But let's just explain the deck. We've got one of the new inclusions I like, Alice Blue. This card is sweet because it's not RNG. So the locking is going to affect specific cards, epic cards. And I really like this because this gets around that, that problem that we have with cards like Cockatrice here that just pick a random card and it could pick a card that's already locked. And that's just frustrating to me. But this card is not random. And that's what makes it, in my mind, really backbreaking. So, locks two uh, locks uh, epic cards in their hand, and when returned, if you won the turn, get that seventy perm, which is really nice too. Ah, you guys know I love this card, and I I just gotta play it. It's just so fun. How are you specs? When played, if your deck has five or more life on land cards and five or fewer the Roman Empire cards, your life on land cards wherever lose fifteen perm. All other cards gain ten perm. So. We chose cards that don't really matter if they lose power. They're still in the deck doing their function of disrupting the opponent, locking them out. So Praying Mantis, Cock Trees, Indigo Milk Cap, all these cards serve a, a function. We don't care that they lose that permanent power. So you're essentially sacrificing these cards. And in return, you're buffing the rest of your deck. So it works nice. I kind of like it. So like I said, Praying Mantis, only purpose in the deck is to lock your opponent out. So when drawn, if you're losing the round, two opponents, random cards in hand, lock this round. Cocktree, same thing. When returned, an opponent's random card in hand, locks for three turns. And we've got Milk Cap. It's going to be the permanent lock. So we can lock an opponent's card out permanently if played before round two, turn two. And uh, that's really what we want that to do. And then we're going to hold on to it and let that 25 permanent power, or, uh, yeah, permanent power, as long as you're holding it. Just keep ticking up, you know, we're just getting free stuff. So idea, obviously, lock out your opponent, burn their power away. As those cards are locked in their hand, they can't play it. Now all their base power is burning up. So cards like Phoenix coming down. When, uh, when drawn, your opponent's cards burn 14 until played. And if you're losing, burn 14, uh, burn 14 them again. <laughs> That's weird. That's worded kind of weird there. I never noticed that. Uh, we've got Venus Flytrap, just not another nice lock card. When drawn an opponent's random card, locks this turn. This card gains 20 this turn. Greek Fire, another burn down the house card here. Uh, when drawn, your opponent's cards in hand burns 16 this round. We get a little discount on our Greek Mythology, which is going to be... Uh, well, I don't know if I got any in there. I was thinking Norse, but maybe not. Uh, Rapunzel. When played, if your deck contains a card for every album, your cards in hand gain 30 this turn. And we do have a card for every album in here, just for her. We've got Brunhild. Uh, when drawn, your opponent's cards in hand burn 20 until this is returned to your deck. So, <coughs> excuse me, are going to keep burning away until we feel like playing this card. Oh, this is the one, Norse Mythology Discount. So I was like, I thought I had one in here for Norse. Uh, Hell. When played, if you have lost two rounds this game, your cards in hand gain 55 this turn. So this deck is behind a lot, especially if it's going up against a really good deck. So being able to catch back up, so cards like Hell and Flying Dutch, pretty crucial to really get back in the in the uh, in the turn or in the round. I have a Storm. When returned, all remaining cards in both players' hands lock next turn. So this is good if you feel like you're losing the uh, you're losing the round. You're not going to be able to salvage it. 
and uh, Milk Cap's already permanently locked up one of your cards. You can toss Eye Storm out by itself, unlock your whole he unlock your whole deck basically, so you're not uh, sitting there with a permanent lock card any longer. Lock Nest Monster when returned, your opponent's remaining cards in hand lock next turn. We've got William Sebold. You guys see, I've been playing this card a lot. I really like it. <clears throat> when played, if this is the only espionage card in your deck, your opponent's cards in hand gain 15 this turn. Your cards in hand gain 15 perm. So, uh, feels good. Kepler 13AB. When drawn, an opponent's random card in hand locks this turn. Just more lock it up, guys. We're just locking them down. And Renaissance is going to get that nice uh, 28 buff until played on our Arts and Culture cards, because we do have six. Uh, Flying Dutch, when played, if you're losing the round, you're going to get that 48 on your cards, which is nice. And finally, Ymir, uh, an opponent's random card in hand locks this turn. If you're losing the round, they also lose 20 until played. So, fun little deck. Uh, kind of expensive, though, especially this week. It can be a little tight on energy. It's kind of the con one concern, but it's not terrible. Uh, let's see. Let's see how we do. <clears throat> Jump in a game here. We got tag time coming in hot. Wanting to stomp some foreplay down. He's probably going to do it. You know, is, We're just having fun tonight, guys. We don't care about winning. You guys know me. We don't care about winning around here. We're just here to have fun. Play some cards. Play some cards, guys. Play some cards. Right, I don't know if I want to play Milk Cap yet because I really don't want to lock my Dutch out. Uh, we can go... We can go Loch Ness. Let's do it like this. That's fine. All right. Looks like we're up against the Penguin deck. That might be pretty good. Might struggle a little here. Penguins can do some dangage. A little dangage. All right. Here we go. We got our Flying Dutch now. Oh, I was just going to play that milk cap too, but we're going to have to wait. Let's go Alice, because I think we win this. I'm actually going to flippy flop here. Let's do it like that. I think we'll win this turn. Get that buff on Alice. Hopefully. Ooh, he only played two cards there with Kraken. That's kind of a waste. I guess if he's locked out, couldn't get it down, though. <laughs> Sucker. That's what's nice about this deck. Lock them out, and they struggle a little bit to play their cards. All right, looks like Praying Mantis not where it's at right now. Really wanted to play Milk Cat, too, and it's locked out. So sometimes it can be a little awkward in your own hand, you know, as you're locking your own cards out. But still fun to play. But let me know, guys. I've been uh, kind of wondering what to play lately. So I've been playing a lot of these fringe decks that are kind of off meta. Uh, if you guys do want to see meta decks as well, you can shoot me a comment and say, hey, can you, can you play this deck or that deck? I don't mind doing meta decks as well. I just haven't been doing them, to be honest. Like, it's just kind of kind of been, like I said, I've been enjoying the fringe decks more. Like I, I like the challenge of trying to win with fringe decks. So I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, that's what I'm saying. If you, if you guys do want to see some specific decks or something, just shoot me a comment uh, on the YouTube channel, or you can message me in Discord if you have a specific list you want want me to show show off. I don't mind playing somebody else's deck and giving out credit where credit is due. So uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, again, by all means, just shoot me a comment and uh, let me know, hey, I want to see this or I want to see that. I, uh, I've got a couple comments recently that I, I think somebody wanted to see a power per turn deck, so I'll probably put something together for them on that. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else. I know there was another comment. I'm trying to remember what it was, but... I will go back and look and see, so don't think I forgot about you if you left me comments recently. I do want to start putting decks together that you guys want to see, so uh, <clears throat> just let me know. Like I said, if, like, if you have a specific deck, just shoot me a message. But yeah, aside from that, what else? Um, oh, uh, I forgot to tell you guys the other day, for Christmas I ended up buying myself, like my own gift, you know, 
for fun. I bought a uh, one of them retro handheld gaming devices that are like super cheap. I don't know if you guys have seen them things. I, I ended up getting like a Facebook pop up for one, and I was like, you know, I think I really want to buy one of these and try it out. And it was uh, it's called the uh, X6. It's like a, I think I paid like thirty five bucks, and it came with like how many games? I think it's like ten thousand games or something on this thing, from like. The original NES all up all the way up to like I wanna say just before PS1. So I think like Sega has up to like Sega. All the Game Boy games, Game Boy Advanced. Oh we got him. I guess he was just getting too frustrated. <laughs> Sucker. Alright, let's do one more. See so yeah, that is this is a deck that's kinda kinda troll, right? Because it's controlly. So this, this is what I, I wish they'd print more cards that are control, just because it's such a fun archetype to be able to kind of manipulate your opponent and lock out cards. I, I really wish they would make lock to where you could target. If I could target lock your cards, I think that would be so nice. Just this random where it's going to lock the same card over again. It just ugh, it feels so bad when it does it. Like Or at least make it to where it... It, it tr at first it targets a card that's unlocked. Like, don't target a card that's already locked. Like, that's so silly in my mind that they have that set up like that. Just makes the archetype almost unplayable. But when you can target lock, like if I could click over there and say, I want to lock that card right there. Oh my goodness. That would be so good. I would love it. I think I would play this deck all the time. All right, what do I want to do here? Uh... Let's do it like this. But yeah. <clears throat> Target lock. I think that'd be sweet. Oh, but what I was talking about before, I got sidetracked there. The, uh, the X6, man. So cool. It's definitely cheap. You can tell it's like a cheap gaming system. Like the, the screen's not the best. It's got a little bit of like tear on the screen occasionally. Some of the games don't work well with it, but the ones I've, some of the ones I found that I've never played before, like, I figured I'd be, like, stuck with playing, like, a lot of the Pokemon games that I grew up playing, but I've actually been playing some of the games I've never played before, like, uh, I think there was, like, a Harry Potter one, it's actually really good, I was running around this castle, you get lost almost in this castle, I'm like, what the heck, this game is sweet, and 30 bucks, 35 bucks, you can get one of these things, man, and it just takes you back. I feel like I've just been having a lot of fun with it. But I kind of wish I'd have bought the nicer one. There's a, there's one that's, I think it's the RG35XX, I want to say, is, is the setup on it. And I should have bought that one. Seems like it would have been way nicer. The reviews are way better. Um, so I might just give this one to the kids. <laughs> get myself one of them really nice ones. dude i lost by one point come on Are you kidding i call bs all right let's see what we got here let's get this going i need to i need to get this indigo down i am scared to lock my eye of the storm though so i need to get it down next turn at the latest right so let's do it like this uh-oh. It's a good turn for him. We might just get steamrolled this round. Space deck is pretty strong right now. So I wouldn't be shocked. All right. We are going for it. I need to get this milk cap down. Ugh. I think I'm going to play Eye of Storm because I really don't want to lock it out. Because that's the way we unlock our card if we need it. So let's do it like this. Wouldn't wouldn't mind if Brunhilde gets locked. Or Brunhild. Brunhild! Yeah, I think we're losing this game here. This is uh, not looking the greatest for us. Like I said, sometimes it just... Cards don't go your way with this deck. I need to be burning up that base power. I really want them to update burn. Like, I know I just talked about lock updating a little bit, but they really need to do something with burn. The fact that it doesn't hit the buff power in my mind is just killing this card or, or this ability. Like, come on. Why would you make it to where it doesn't 
kill their damage. Like, there's so many buffs in this game, like, it doesn't even feel like they're getting hurt. <laughs> like, come on. I think that what they need to do, I, th I think I mentioned this on a couple other videos before, but for those that haven't heard my idea with Burn, I wish they'd do a, like, a tick damage. So the second a card gets, anytime it gets caught on fire, even, if, even door to hell, the card goes back in your deck. It's kind of charred a little bit. So have a cool, like, little charred animation. Like, kind of like over there where they're smoking. Maybe you keep them like that the rest of the game. But they have a tick damage. Like, they're constantly burning in your hand even afterwards. So there's, like, this, like, almost after effect, right? So um, have it do, like, one damage or two damage each turn. Even when it's in your deck, it's just constantly burning damage away. And I think that would be a lot better. So the card never gets put out. Or add something that counters that and can put them out when they are caught on fire. But I think they just need to keep ticking away. Just keep losing damage the whole time. But just make it real small. Like a small amount, but it just keeps triggering over, over, until there's nothing left, you know? I think that'd be really cool. Instead of triggers on the return and by then the cards are already played and you didn't even didn't even hit any damage off of them <laughs> that's just crazy to me like if a card gets caught on fire it's not even doing anything <laughs> they just play it okay i'm just gonna play that card like all right well, what fun is that sorry that was my uh my two cents anyway but i'm sure we're never gonna get anything cool like that Ooh, do we do we steal this round? We did. We got her. We come back. Making my way downtown, coming back for play crazy and he own now. -do 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 -do. <clears throat> but yeah, aside from that, I've been I've been wanting to uh, get back into the because my wife and I, for those of you that don't know, we we kind of started our own little business on the side, and we've been trying to sell sell cards on ebay so go check out my ebay store if you guys didn't know i have one if you want to support me in the channel uh any little purchases always help us so definitely appreciated um but we've been trying to get back into that so i've been doing a lot of research i'm trying to find cards that i can buy raw for cheap but they have good multipliers when you grade them and it's tougher tougher than you think there's a lot of cards that you can grade like the raw price let's say it's 20 bucks you get graded and if it comes back a nine, it's worth 20 bucks. And you're like, what was the point? I just spent $15, $20 to get it graded. And then it's the same price as it was when I bought it raw. It's crazy to me that that's like a thing. But there's some cards that you can buy. <clears throat> um, sorry, uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> you buy them raw for 20 bucks and you get it graded. It hits a nine and it's $100 or $150 or something. And you're like, whew just multiplied my money by you know five times over so it's uh it's definitely tough uh, i've been really researching trying to like create a list of you know this card raw price here's the nine here's the ten different prices here's what i can potentially make so it's definitely neat though trying to uh trying to do this so I've got an order out right now, actually, with PSA. Looks like we lost this game here, as expected. Uh, I, I got an order out right now with PSA, though, uh, for some Pokemon cards. So getting them graded. Uh, I wanted to take advantage. There was a, a deal they had here uh, for Christmas time to, I think, grade them fairly cheap. So sent out uh, the minimum requirement. I think I sent, like, 11 cards or something. Not a lot. But they were all good cards, so I'm really excited to get them back and get them starting to sell. So... But yeah, definitely go check out the store if you guys are interested. Um, trying to, like I said, I'm trying to get that back up and going. Try to hit it hot and heavy on the new year. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck tonight. Like I said, we're just doing a fun one. Nothing too serious tonight. But uh, shoot me some comments on what you want to see coming up. And uh, thanks for watching.